You know, nothing is moving down here. It's all up here. That's what I see in a lot of the guys that are demonstrating exercises. Feet moving, this moving, that moving. I'm saying, oh, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. What's this? What's this? <laughs> what is that? <clears throat> and they go ballistic if you say something. And I say, you can deal with it however you like. I mean, if you're going to demonstrate an exercise for somebody to learn, I mean, it's supposed to be a certain position and body and <laughs> nobody's breathing. And I'm thinking, well, okay, if you understand why you don't, <laughs> you're not feeling any muscle, you have to breathe. If you're not breathing, then the muscle can't carry the oxygen load. It can't pump, the blood can't move. Something you said before this, you said, and I heard Coach Saban say this, and I thought it was just brilliant. Average, want to be left alone so they can get through. Through the workout. Good, want to be coached. Great, want to be told what they're doing wrong. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Totally, exactly. Every exactly. play, That's what did what I do wrong? About, what yeah. could I have done better? Tell me this. Right, you can tell me anything, Robbie, you, you're not, I, I'm gonna recapture it. I mean, I try to do it correctly all the time, but then sometimes it's just, you might not breathe. That's human. Right. But then I always still go back okay and pick it up. It. You're still okay with being said, that's not good. You, yeah. you just killed that. I to myself. You, yeah. It's like, we like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to go, hey, you're strong. Oh, I, I want to be, what am I doing wrong that can be better? Exactly. So one of my guys on my Zoom call yesterday asked me specifically about you. He said he watches your videos and he said, I notice when Robbie exercises, he closes his eyes a lot. And my answer was, well, he's visualizing one. And then I heard you say this before, <laughs> I command my muscle to do what I want it to exactly. do. I love command. that command. That's what it is. You command that muscle to get bigger, thicker, stronger, more separated, more muscular. So right I can now, see the doing? muscle fibers of everything that's involved in this movement. I can see them in my mind. I can speed the reps up. I'm still got that thing in my mind. I can see everything. I'm pressing my feet into the floor. Upper back arch. That forces that all those muscles to work together as a team. <clears throat> and if that's happening, when you go up and the man say double bicep from the shot, I laugh. Boom. Boom, because you know what's coming. <laughs> I, they should be there. <clears throat> funny because you said yep you Lift see it chest. which is funny because when it comes to bodybuilding they don't see the hamstring glutes and back and those are the muscles that make the champion but you do see it where they're just looking yeah there's a difference between looking yeah. at it and seeing it you're seeing it mentally I can see that muscle. and how you even want it like you say I want my old back 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 exactly better <laughs> love that God dang. Something I tell people and I think like this is along the lines of a conversation that a lot of people can't really grab, wrap their head around. But I could stand there and make blood go into the vein in my... It's all mental. Right, like <laughs> I'm putting blood, look, look. Yeah, I can see it. I do the same thing. I look at it and it just transforms itself. It can't help it. It's energy. <laughs> my muscle connection. And the more you get into that mind muscle connection, I mean, then you can... Look like Michael O'Hearn, or look like Robbie Robinson, or look like Franco Michael O'Hearn, yes, you can't look like Robbie Robinson. There's only one Robbie. About time somebody spoke my language, like of energy, transferring of energy, and they don't get. They, I, I was thinking about this. Uh, Jay Keller asked me a question, and uh, the the it's a lonely place. Yeah. But there's a voice in my head that I can get to moments during the workout. And I look forward to talking to that individual. It's the craziest thing, but it's like, you wrestled, you got in a fight, you've been in a fight. And most people know that when you're in a fight, it's a muffled sound. Right. And all you hear is the voice in your head. And that voice in my head is probably my closest friend that's kept me on track. That it's, If I'm under 600 pounds on squat, I hear it. And it's the coolest thing because what he's saying, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's a hard thing to explain, but I know some of you guys will get that, that, that the voice that keeps you moving. I love that when I'm trying to explain what we feel to someone mm -hmm. that you can't come up with the words to explain it because <laughs> it's such depth. It's so in, it's, it's yeah. so in you that it's in like depth. the word doesn't exist in our vocabulary yet to transfer that feeling and emotion and thought and reality to somebody else. You're like, I just, you won't get it till you get it. Yesterday, I'm doing those trip shots 
and I'm walking back and forth. The whole time I'm talking to myself, you can do this, you've done it before. And then I looked in the camera and I knew I was gonna make it. I, I do these football Silver, trick shots. Yeah. And I said, you know, every once in a while, we get in a rut. The best in the world get in a rut. You don't feel like training, you miss shots, whatever. And I said, the way to get out of a rut is by continuing to show up. And I laid down, and as soon as I said that, I threw the ball all net right in, and I made three out of five of this shot laying flat on my back. It's yeah. because you continue to show up with the same enthusiasm and energy, even though it don't feel like it, yeah. and that gets you through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some, sometime I'll go in the gym and, and I'll be using lighter weight. It's just like, oh, 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 oh. Why is this thing so heavy? But I get it out of my mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel the next heaviest weight on. It happens to all of us. I love bodies. I love weight training. I think it's it's one of the most incredible things. You can, can tap into it, then it's anything is possible. So I, I coach men over 50 all around the mm -hmm. world. That's great. So what would you say to a man over 50 who's not doing anything, who's not taking care of his vessel, who doesn't appreciate to the level that we understand it and he's abusing it right by not really treating it kindly what would you say i tell that person that you don't care about yourself Ooh. oh i'm so glad you said it <laughs> i'm so good it's your one life I, I mean, it's your I hate one to say, life I hate to say, this is a sunday's mother's day but have you heard people when something goes wrong they always say by god let this happen to me right right Throwing god didn't that. do anything you the one why did life let this happen? Life didn't let that happen. You made that decision. <laughs> yeah, I've had my own bad situations and mm -hmm. I made bad decisions. And I had to live with it, cried about it. <laughs> yep. Hey, go on. Life goes on. You have to keep going. Push. So make a decision today. Mm -hmm. Up top, hands back. Keep pressing that muscle. Keep pressing those muscles back like that. All upper back arch. Lift that chest up. Yep, that makes all the difference. Oh, yeah. Head. Yep. <laughs> Lift that chest up. <sighs> Lift that chest up. Go, 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 go. Lift that chest up. <sighs> Get that shit, Clark. Get that. Lift that chest up. <sighs> Stronger than me. <sighs> you know what's funny? Is Woo! I know it sounded harsh, but I, I was going to say the same yeah, thing Robbie did. <laughs> If you're not Change appreciating life by 50, just like, yeah. and I would appreciate it earlier. And I know there's something is like, these are very, uh, very unique individuals, both these guys. And there's such a small percentage, but they're still here, not because of today, but because what they did when they were 20, 25. And that's why I wish you youngsters, and I know this is tough when you're young, you think time is on your side. It's not. It's not, it goes by, f we were the kids. I was the freaking kid to this thing. I was a teenager when I was discovered. And now I'm the old guy. It's so it's like, get going today for you youngsters if you hear this. And, and if you feel like, oh, this is a, Clark's talking about 50 year olds, Robbie's 76, Mike's old as pie. It started when we were young. Yeah. So it's just, get moving now and appreciate your life. Wake up with appreciation. What, what was the first day you remember lifting a weight? Like walking in and going. Oh. You know, I sit, been a lot of time sitting in front of the television watching Jack Lane. That's where it started. For me, Jack Lane, I was always sickly with the sickle cell. I didn't know I had it. Didn't have my parents, didn't have that money to go to a doctor and do that. And they just gave you herbs to keep you going. It was a very herbal formula, like Hawthorne Berry. Like Hawthorne Berry exercises the artist, so there's no plaque buildup. I've been doing that since I was seven. <laughs> you know, I've been doing all these things since I was a kid. It didn't just start then. Jack Delaney inspired me more than anybody, I think. I love that you see Jack. He's worked so closely. That was my buddy. Jack. Yeah? That was my yeah. buddy. Yes, he was on the TV show with me. And <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack got me up moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Push up, sit up till I was liked, sweating. We liked the old guy. We saw something, and in in, I don't know if that was just Nate to us, to where we're like, oh, if he's doing it at that age. Because I remember him at 80 and stuff doing the freaking San Francisco Bay with the, the 90 boats behind him. I'm like, I can't even swim. I can't even swim. He, he dragged boats. And he was, I was like, 
you can't do that. But that's the same thing they're saying about stuff that you do and you do. He empowered my mind. So Jack strengthened my mind. He developed me develop my mind, my mentality. There is no uh, if pain, you know, you can go past that. And I'm seeing him pulling these boats and doing all these exercises every morning. My mama flows soaking wet. She kicked me out of the house. Well, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your wood floors in those days with no carpets. Wood floors, you know, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> with Jack, but Jack gave me life. Jack brought me into a place where I believed in myself, and uh, I think that was one of the probably one of the best things ever happened to me in my life. Getting in there and jumping with Jack, talk, talk my about, whole life. Talk about proximity, right? Yeah. You had so this is the collective thing, right? He, he Jack inspired Robbie, mm -hmm. Robbie inspired Mike, Mike inspired Clark. So there's this collective, yeah, it's, yeah, it's of energy, hundreds and hundreds of years of experience and energy. So if you could put all of that out there, and that's really what we're doing. It, it, it can be transferred through a video, mm -hmm. and someone watching this video right yep. now is in proximity, yep. even 10,000 miles away. Yeah, you, you better believe it. I get it all day long. Message, message, message. Yeah. So much I can't even answer it. And then sometimes I sit down and I answer them, and they're just so overjoyed to thank you for doing this, Robert. I really appreciate you contacting me. Wow, that made my day, and you go like, wow. So I've been doing it a little bit more regular, you know, to keep them involved in it. Tell them to go to Mike's page, you know, go to Instagram, go to Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I met Robbie at, here, you know, it's like, shit, that was 30 years ago. And it's great to see you still going. I wish I continued to do that, but it's just, it's amazing how consistent he's been personality-wise, the commitment-wise, and it's the same with Jack LaLanne. When, when, when I got to announce him how energetic he was, it's like, you're a... What is it? Is it total appreciation of your life and what you're gifted, or is it just something that's... For him, it was for sure the beyond a shadow of a doubt. I mean, I've been in his home, I've been everywhere with him, and, and it was always consistent. Every single person that came within his proximity, whether it was a waitress, the one thing I learned from Jack that I love the most, every time we went to eat, he would politely ask the server, I need 10 different vegetables in my salad. And if they didn't have 10, he they would find yeah. Ten different vegetables for Jack Lane somehow, some way. Yeah. He, he one time, I, I said, Jack, do you have any stunts that you haven't done yet? Because I want to do one. I want to carry on your legacy. He's like, all right, Clark, I got one for you. What you do is you get in your posing trunks. You get 315 pounds. You put it on your back. And you walk up and down Sunset Strip. And you tell all the little kids to take their vitamins and say their prayers. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, no wonder you didn't do that one. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're Jack Lane, but that was not a good one. No nah, wonder you yeah, kept yeah, that yeah. one to You're yourself. Getting arrested for I'm that not one. getting yeah, imposing yeah, trunks and talking uh, to little kids <laughs> yeah. with 315 on my back. That's no, gonna be Jack. a bubble thing. Damn, I'm not carrying 315. Right? Probably cut down to about 179. Yeah, what are you ripped at? 170? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm like a one. I'll McGregor the same way because like 145, 145. Is that when your glutes are actually straight at 160? Yeah, 163. My glutes get straight. Yeah. Yes, sir. Damn. You don't follow Love that. Right, do you? Yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> better, better judgment than that. That's the end, right? Yeah. Lighten up. Get, those, get that deepness. That muscle that should be burning. That tells me that that must have been incapacitated. It has no choice but to grow when you take it to that level. Come on, Come on, B. My mom said is you want to get those reps that you can't get the next time. Each time you want to get those reps that you can't get, possibly. Yeah, come on, kid. Come on. <clears throat> stronger than me. Stronger than me. <clears throat> Four more right now. There you go. Go again. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Go again like that. Take it. Posterior deltoid right there. Squeeze yeah. that. Posterior. There you go. go Squeeze again. that posterior deltoid. It's right there. Right there, one more, one more, come on. Let's go. Squeeze that posture of Delta on the trapeze, just right there. Ah! Whew, it's fun watching you get pumped up. Look Man. at you. Dude. Look at the pop in the shoulders. I'm fired up. You might have to take that top off. I'm fired up. So what happens without vision? The people perish. So do your muscles. Yes. Some wisdom drop. That's what you do when you one. Yeah, I'm reading my Dixie cups. You guys don't know about that. What's the word of the day? Paradox. Oh, you guys that complaint when I say, hey, you know, don't be moving your body around too much. If you notice, Mike's feet say into the floor, but it's buried into that pad. 
and he's pushing with his elbow, with his head slightly bent over. At the same time, lifting his chest up when you complete the rep. <clears throat> See him lifting the chest? Mm. Exactly. All that plays a part in all this development back right here. All the way down to the middle of the back, with the trapezius. But all I know is Robbie Robinson was going about two inches further back and squeezing it a little bit longer and a little bit harder. That's yeah. all I recognized. Yeah, it, 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 it. Just squeeze that. <laughs> My whole thing of it is it's, it's that it, when you pause with it and lift the chest up, more muscle fibers start coming in and trying to be developed. That's my theory on all of that. You get stronger, pause wrapping something, and then pushing. It just kills you pretty much. It almost, in a sense, paralyzes the muscle. The muscles don't want to do it. You know what's funny? Most of my form, people will go, oh, that's time under tension. It's what? The, the, the common Joe will say when they watch me lift, they'll say, oh, that's time under tension when I bench press or squat. And it's not. It's just me moving through the exercise, trying to flex through the exercise. I, I know. I know. It, it, there's there's a side effect that because of the speed I'm doing and stuff could be considered time under tension. But that's it's how we do it now. Is that we're posing? You're posing through this, so you're not just rear delts. Yeah. And I wish more people would do this. Him without the machine can flex it like this. Every muscle in my upper back. And he back. can flex yeah. it. Yep, that's what I'm doing. And he's here. Boom. And then he gets in and uses the machine. Boom, I'm hitting. Where these people and will get in and let the machine do the that work, not exactly you do the work. I see it in my mind. It has no choice. It has no Repetition. choice. It has no right. choice. Like when he says it has no choice, I absolutely am convinced that it has no choice. It has no choice. <laughs> if you're focusing on it and you believe in what you're trying to get done and if you're doing the exercise as correctly as you possibly can, if you're inhaling and exhaling and you have a vision, One more set. anything is possible. <clears throat>